Hi everyone, I'm John Glasscock. Welcome back to another video. Hope that you guys are doing amazing today on this wonderful day of December 2018. Today we are going to be testing to see if the Xbox One can even handle 1000 megabits per second gigabit fiber optic internet. I actually just did this speed test a little while ago using the browser Microsoft Edge, which is a pretty popular web browser for your PC, but Interesting enough, as you all know, the Xbox One also has Microsoft Edge as their web browser, and we are actually able to run this exact same test on the Xbox One. So that's pretty much what we're gonna be doing today to see if the Xbox One can even handle 1000 megabits per second gigabit fiber optic internet. So we're gonna switch over here to my camera view. And we're going to start up Microsoft Edge. Conveniently enough, we're already on Ookla speed test and we are going to run this test a couple times to see what the average result will be. And we are using the same speed test server, AT&T. So without further ado, let's go ahead and run the first test. On the count of three, one, two, three, and go So there we have it, the result of our first speed test on the Xbox One using gigabit internet. Let's go ahead and run a second test just to see if it's consistent. We'll go ahead on the count of three, one, two, three, and go. So interesting enough, as you all can see, the ping was much higher on that test. I think that has to do with the responsiveness of the Edge browser on the Xbox One. The download and upload speeds were roughly the same, but we're gonna go ahead and run this test one more time to see if the ping can actually return back to where it was. I'm assuming the speeds will probably stay the same, but I wanna see if we can get that ping back down to around nine or 10 milliseconds. We got 17 milliseconds this time. So there is our last and final results for our speed test. Let me know in the comment section down below what you all think. If you guys want me to do this exact same test on the Xbox One X, the PS4 Pro, as well as the original PS4, comment down below and I will think about possibly doing it to show you guys what the results and what the comparisons are. Hope that you all have a wonderful day and I will see you all on the next video. Peace.